one of the first text messages I sent was that I was sorry that I'm still alive. So that's how I felt. Like I was sad that Troy had died, but I also felt so overwhelmingly guilty that I was about to get on a flight and come back home and have a life and he wasn't. So I was just like, felt, yeah, really guilty. Survivor's guilt is a huge part of this kind of thing, isn't it? It's a very real thing. Yeah. And you obviously experienced that Mm. hugely. How long did that, does that last for, that feeling guilty of being alive? I think I still feel a a little bit now. I think it's certainly, you know, I've done some, you know, great things in my life in the last 19 years. And at the beginning, I think a lot of it was driven by, I felt like I had to do something extraordinary to prove to myself that it was okay that I was alive. Yeah. And I wasn't trying to prove it to anyone else because no one made, makes you feel that way. It's only you. Right. So I feel like I did a lot at the beginning out of guilt. Wow. Because I wanted to be okay with the fact that I would survived. And I kept thinking over 300,000 people were dead and they didn't have a chance. So, which also helped me get out of bed when I didn't want to as well. Yeah. yeah but it also was quite debilitating when you feel... You know, you're living for all these people. 